Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So it is that time again for some empties. I've collected quite a few. Um, I personally love empties videos because this is really the true test of did something work or did it not? You've used something completely and I think that you can really form a solid opinion about a product because you have used it so much. And while there's nothing wrong with loving a product the first, second, third time you use it, I think there is something to say about an empties video because these are products that you've been consistently using and trying. And I think by the end of the product, you know whether it's good or not. So I've got a good hefty bag here of empties. I've got body stuff, hair stuff. Um, I think I have a little bit of makeup, skin care. Uh, I have a toothpaste. So we're just going to dive right in. All right, I've got some iced coffee and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. I think that'll just be the easiest. So the first thing that's on top is the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. This is such an amazing multi-purpose soap. You really can use this for everything. Um, what I like to use it for is as a body wash. I use it on myself. I use it on my kids. I use this to uh, clean makeup brushes. I use this as a hand soap. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can actually use this as a hair rinse, you can use it for your laundry, you can mop the floor, you can wash your dog, you can use it as an all-purpose cleaner, you can shave your face and underarms and legs. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. It tells you how to dilute it because it is very, very potent. Um, but I love the peppermint scent. Peppermint is my all-time favorite scent, so that's why I go for peppermint. They do have several other scents, so if you're not a peppermint person, but hands down love this. I've already repurchased another one. Um, very, very good, just great all-around multi-purpose soap. All right, the next thing is this Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. This is pore perfecting toner. It's 100% natural distilled witch hazel. I mentioned this in my skincare routine a couple videos ago. Absolutely love this. I used to use this several years back. My mom introduced me to this product and I don't know why I stopped using it because I loved it back then. Um, the smell is very nostalgic because I did use it so long ago, um, but I absolutely love it. It doesn't dry out my skin. This is just a great everyday toner. I usually use this at nighttime. Um, and I just love it so much. I've already repurchased another one. I'm actually already almost done with that one and I'll be repurchasing a next, uh, another one. So really, really enjoy this. All right, so a face wash that I went through. This is the Alba Botanica Acne Dote Deep Pore Wash. This is not a facial cleanser that I would normally purchase. However, several months back, I mean, I wanna say last year, I was having a ton of breakouts on my chin. I honestly thought that I had started getting like adult acne or something, because my breakouts were so, so bad. Once I got over one, I would get another, and there was really nothing I could do to get rid of the breakouts. So I got this on a whim, I tried it out. Um, I don't think it really did anything for my breakouts. It's a very, very intense, face wash it lathers and it does dry out the skin which kind of was my reasoning behind getting this because i really did want to just dry out my skin and dry out all of the breakouts um so very very drying i won't repurchase this just because i didn't see um any results from it but it was a nice wash and it definitely removed makeup and removed all the dirt off my skin so I think this was in my last empties. This is the Tom's Simply White Anti-Cavity Fluoride toothpa Toothpaste in the Clean Mint flavor. Um, this is hands down my favorite natural toothpaste. I've tried others from Tom's and they're just not the same. I think that it cleans my teeth better, it tastes the best, and I really, really like this one. So I'm definitely gonna just keep repurchasing. I was gonna like deviate and try a new flavor and this one's just the best. All right, so this next product is definitely one of my holy grail products. I've already repurchased another one. This is the Coco Kind Organic Facial Repair Serum. 
I rave about this all the time. This is actually their old packaging. They have a new blue label now, which is really, really nice. I actually really like their new packaging. And I think they call it their organic facial repair oil now, not their facial repair serum. Um, but if you see that, they're the same product. Um, it only has three ingredients. It has coconut oil, avocado oil, and virgin rosehip seed oil. So very, very simple product, but it's very, very nourishing and it just deeply, deeply moisturizes and hydrates the skin. These oils are really, really good for your skin, especially rosehip seed oil. That's a very, that's an awesome oil to use on your skin. And then just having all three of these in here is nice. So really, really love this. It's affordable and I use this every single day. This is what I use to prep my skin every time I do my makeup. So love this and um, will always continue to repurchase this. All right, I also went through this Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Floral Toner. I like this product. I cannot stand the nozzle on this. It's the worst spray nozzle I think I've ever encountered. It spits at you. It like throws the spray all over the place. So for that purpose alone, I will not repurchase this because I just can't handle the nozzle. I would rather just buy my Heritage Store Rose Water Spray or the Thayer's uh, Rose Petal Witch Hazel, something like that. This spray nozzle is awful. I don't know, maybe I got a faulty one. If y'all have tried this and you haven't had issues, comment below, let everyone know. Um, but yeah, this one was just horrific and for that reason I won't repurchase. Another Andalou Naturals product is this Citrus Sunflower Shower Gel. I got this in a Pettivore box. Um, I liked it. It smelled like margaritas actually. Yeah, it definitely has like a margarita scent to it so I like that as well. It's good for the summertime. It wasn't anything that I was like super impressed with. I'd rather just stick with my Dr. Bronner's Liquid Castile Soap, um, but it's a nice shower gel. It smells really good. Um, so yeah, but I won't re be repurchasing, but I did use this entire thing and I did enjoy it. So I have a mini size of the Ursa Major Fantastic Face Wash. If you've been watching me for a while and if you saw my skincare video a couple videos back, you know I already have a full size of this. This is my go-to uh, facial cleanser. I use this every single night, especially when I'm wearing makeup. This does the job. It removes all your makeup. I use coconut oil to kind of break down my makeup, but then I use this face wash to really cleanse my skin, and I absolutely love it. I love Ursa Major as a brand anyway. All of their products have never let me down. I seriously love everything in their line, um, but really, really love this face wash. And it's just a great kind of no bells and whistles, gets the job done, it smells really good. It smells like margaritas as well. I don't know what the deal is. Everything to me smells like margaritas, but I think it's because it has spearmint and lime in it, so the combination kind of smells like that. But really great face wash, and it really does remove the dirt from my skin and cleans my skin thoroughly. All right, so I went through another of the, another one of these like tra travel sizes. I don't know what size what what you would call this, but this is the full lane lemongrass everything soap. I have a full size in my bathroom right now and in my kitchen. Um, this was just, I think I, I don't know if I got this with a gift with purchase or if it was in some kind of bundle that I got, um, but use this up. I love the lemongrass scent. This is such an amazing soap to keep in your kitchen. You can use it for your dishes. You can use it for your hands. You can use this to clean makeup brushes as well. It's a really great soap for that. I mean, you can use it for anything. It's kind of like the Dr. Bronner soap where you can really use it for whatever you want. You can use it for your delicates, your dog. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So love this soap. And then if you get the full size, you can actually go into a store if you have one local to you and refill it. And it's a lot more affordable that way. And um, that also saves on packaging as well. So love this soap, highly recommend it. It's just a great kind of all around multi-purpose soap. All right, so I actually have another Simply White uh, toothpaste by Tom's. This is the same one that I mentioned before. So as you can see, love this toothpaste and we'll continue to repurchase. All right, another full lane product is the Rose Body Butter. I have raved about this so much. This is such an amazing, amazing body butter. This is the smaller size. They do sell it, I believe, in an eight ounce and this is a 1.7 ounce. So they have one that's significantly bigger. 
um, love this. It's such an amazing body butter. It's so rich and luxe and it just feels so expensive on the skin. Right now, I'm currently using their new body oil. Because it's the summertime, this I find is very, very heavy on the skin. And right now, I'm just so freaking hot after I take a shower um, that I just, I, I don't want to slather a really intense uh, body butter all over my body so I've been using actually their instant glow body oil and I've been loving that so I have not repurchased this but um, this is definitely a kind of colder weather like fall winter time staple for me and I think the body oil is going to be my spring and summertime body moisturizer so between this and the body oil these are both two phenomenal products by full lane all right we're getting down to the bottom I think I just have a bunch of kind of sample sizes in here so um I have this Be Kind face scrub. I mentioned this in my skincare uh, routine. Um, love this. I will be repurchasing, or I will be purchasing a full size. I got this in my Petty Vore box. This reminds me so much of the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser, which is $80. It's the most beautiful cleanser I think I've ever used. It's amazing. It's got the most beautiful micro exfoliant to it and this reminds me a lot of that so this is uh, quite a bit cheaper it's only $25 for the full size so I will be repurchasing this loved this so much um, another let's see I have a few more sample sizes I have this uh, Kahina oil cleanser I got this in my Petty Vore box as well I was not a huge fan of this um, I just prefer my coconut oil and I don't want to pay for this when my coconut oil does just as good of a job so was not a huge fan of that um, another Petty Vore product is this Shamanutty. I don't know how you say that. This is the seaweed toner. I wasn't a huge fan of this either. I have so many other toners that I love so much. Um, the Ursa Major 4-in-1 Face Tonic is hands down my favorite skincare facial mist of the moment. It's so amazing. Again, another really great multi-purpose product. If you saw my skincare routine, you know all the different ways that I use that. I'll have that video linked below because a lot of these products were mentioned in there. Um, so I won't purchase this just because I already have toners that I love so much already. Um, I have this Pie Camellia and Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I think I, think I got this in a Petty Vore box as well or I got it as a gift with purchase. I think it was in a Petty Vore box though. This was nice. It reminds me a lot of the Evan Healy Cleansing Milk. It's got that really milky, kind of lotion-y texture. I think this was a great morning cleanser. Um, probably not good if you have a lot of makeup on or if you really need to kind of get in there and clean your skin. It's very, very gentle. So if you're interested in trying pie, this was a great kind of very gentle morning cleanser. Or if you don't wear makeup, this would be a great cleanser at the end of the day as well. But just for me, I use my Ursa Major Ursa Major Morning Mojo Bar. So um, yeah, I won't purchase this. It's quite pricey as well. So another product that I got in my Petty Vore box. I have a lot of Petty Vore box stuff in here. Um, this is the Blissoma Refine Rescue Clay Renewal Treatment. I loved this. This is a mask that has little tiny exfoliating bits. Um, it's amazing. So it says wash skin with a mild cleanser, uh, apply a layer of the mask to face and neck or to chuckle spots, wait 15 to 20 minutes, and then you remove it with warm water. When you remove it with warm water, it really exfoliates the skin. I thought this was such a great mask. I've never tried a mask like this where it has the little exfoliating beads or whatever it's got in here. Um, so love this. I think the full size is a little bit pricey, but I would hands down purchase this. I kind of forgot about it. I threw it in my empties bag and forgot to buy the full size. So I I will definitely purchase the full size. I really, really like this. It's a great multi-purpose kind of mask exfoliator type of product and I love that. All right, I also tried this Tata Harper Resurfacing Serum. It says it's a glow giving starter serum. I loved this. I think everything that Tata Harper does is brilliant and beautiful and amazing. I just wish her stuff wasn't so pricey. I understand why it is. But um, yeah, I just, I can't spend that kind of money on this when I already have a really good skincare routine that works for my skin. 
but really, really did love this. Um, it gave a nice glow to the skin and the texture was really nice. Her products also smell amazing, so I love that about it as well. So loved that, but won't repurchase. All right, and the last two products are my SPF. This is the Carrie Grand 365 SPF 28. I've mentioned this several times. This was also in my skincare video a couple days ago. Um, so I have two of these. These are the little mini sizes. I mentioned in my video that I actually like to buy the mini sizes because per fluid ounce, it's actually cheaper. These retail for $12 a piece. Um, and then the this is 10 milliliters, the 30 mil retails for $48. So um, it's actually more expensive to buy the bigger size. So I like these because I can throw them in my diaper bag. I can keep them just all over the house. Anywhere I would need SPF, I've got it. Um, this one got brutally attacked by my dog. Um, so that's why the pump looks like that. She got it out of my bag and uh, decided to chew the cap. But love this. I've already repurchased several more and I have them kind of all over the place. But it's a really great um, kind of moisturizer oil hybrid and it smells like lemon cookies. It smells so good. It's really hard to find an SPF that smells good and this one smells so, so good. Um, it's a little bit more on the oily side, so if you have oily skin or you don't like the feeling of an oil on your skin, then you may not like this, but this is hands down my favorite SPF that I've tried so far. Love it so much. All right, guys, so that completes this empties video. Um, I had a ton of empties, but I feel like that didn't take too long. I feel like my empties videos are usually really, really long. Um, but I will continue to collect empties as I use stuff. Like I said, I think these are really helpful. It really shows whether or not I liked a product. And I think if you can, especially with the full sizes, if I can go through a full size, I think my opinion is uh, a little bit more grounded when I uh, have actually gone through a full tube or bottle of something. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.